Hey everybody, it's your creative, quirky makeup artist friend Cat Sketch here today to do a new makeup transformation. I am so excited about today's video. If you were asking for another Stranger Things video, today's the day. If you haven't noticed, I chopped a lot of my hair off and I'm loving it. And I'm about to do the thing that most YouTubers do before they start videos, pointing out the obvious. I cut my mouth really bad and it does not want to heal. It's not a cold sore. I actually, of course, I would cut myself eating chips that's what that is and it won't heal because it's right there and I have blue contacts today to turn into someone awesome which is Billy from Stranger Things specifically the more recent season season three where he comes to town with his stepsister half-sister Billy is the rugged handsome guy who's super tough like wants to be the popular kid who just comes fresh into town He's extremely good looking, in my opinion. He's like tough, rugged country boy, and he has the most beautiful mullet I've ever seen. Well, one of the most beautiful ones I've ever seen. So we're gonna turn into Billy, and not only that, but I wanna do a body painting on my chest of the creepy, like, alien, where Will has like multiple personalities, it seems like, from being taken over by this alien-like creature. That alien that looms his brain that's like in the sky, that's what we're gonna do today, right here, and then Billy, right here. So let's get started, friends. I'm so excited. I don't know about you, but I haven't been obsessed with a TV show in a long time. So when Stranger Things came out, I was like so happy. It's so good. And I feel like each season gets better because I'm gonna be honest with you, the first season I was bored. I am also not naked, I have a tube top on because we're gonna do, you know, paints. It's two in the morning and I'm starting this video. I don't know what is wrong with me. I can't sleep at night and I almost drink hand sanitizer instead of my water. Don't do that, kids. This go, girl. This isn't a hydro flask. <laughs> I don't follow norms and those are expensive. Anyways, let's prep our skin. I'm gonna use the Jelly Pop, of course. Moisturizer and primer, I've been loving this. I use it year round because my skin is dry as a desert year round. And then I'm gonna use their moisturizing primer. I use two different primers cause I'm too extra. I use the Jelly Pop moisturizing one and then I use the e.l.f. or the Tatcha blurring one, but this is the no pore blend one. Even though, honestly, like we're just turning into Billy, like really, he doesn't use primer. The foundation I'm using today is my favorite for like camera ready, client for acting, TV show, movie type stuff. It's, it's gonna be on camera. I use these palettes. These are the Graftobian cream foundations. They're so good. So we're gonna use that today because it looks so natural and you can build up the coverage. I've never been so excited, to be honest, to put on a mullet. Am I gonna be turned on by myself? That sounds weird. We will see. I love these rubber spatula things that are used for putting on face masks to blend my foundations together. Don't know why, just do. I know why, because they glide on the skin well. All right, let's blend this into our face. I have a pimple here, a cut there. I'm a wreck. Man, look how well that covered. I'm not gonna even use concealer. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this foundation. Dragging that down my neck. He's a little bit more tan with, than me, so I've gotta get the ears. And I think I got an okay color. If you see like weird stains on the edge of my hairline, I literally just got my hair dyed today and I don't know why, but anyone who does my hair, I've had so many people do my hair, I get all these stains. It's like they don't see them. Like help me out, ma'am. I'm so excited to do these eyebrows and facial hair. But first, I'm gonna reshape my lips and I'm gonna put a little, he has like a scar that breaks up the hairs on his brow there. And I'm gonna make my top lip more pointed because that's what he has. Making myself a new lip line. Why get lip injections when you could just do makeup? I'm gonna use more of a dent here. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. I'm gonna make sure to powder around my eyes with a soft brush to make sure it doesn't crease. He has like a lot of dark bags, but I'm gonna use powder for that. All right, I'm gonna be using this blush. I know that's blush, but we're gonna use it in the crease of our eye. Cause he has like this red tone. I'm gonna put some brown with it too around his eye cause he always looks kind of sickly in the show. If I get this down to look like him, I might just go, I don't know, 
go visit Buddy, dressed as him, and see if she does anything. That would be an amazing video. Why haven't I done that? Oh yeah, because I have to go through security and TSA with my ID, so I don't think that would work. Gosh darn it. Darn rules. I love this palette. This is the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs contour book that I use for a lot of my character makeups. It has such great colors. All right, now with another brush and just a darker foundation color from that palette, I'm gonna start coloring in some lines, the eyes to make him look more tired. You know, cause he's busy work, he's a lifeguard in the show. He's busy getting the ladies. Now I'm gonna contour my nose. I'm gonna use warm contours at first and I'll go over it with the cooler powder. This is so incredibly hard to study his face and do this cause he has like a shorter nose than I do. We have similar noses, but his is a little bit more pushed this way it's like higher up on his face it's so odd compared to mine it's not odd looking at him but just like compared to my nose and like doing comparison contrast is just the weirdest i'm gonna blend it with my finger he has a very deep set cupid's bow i love me cupid's bow i study people's eyes and cupid's bow because i'm a weirdo getting the end of my beauty blender that didn't have foundation i'm gonna contour the sides of his face because he definitely has less of a round face than i do all the way to my ear and he has like jawline more than me because he's a man and i'm like doing this as well he has like a more protruding square chin and men tend to have more protruding brow bones so I'm going to do some light shading around his furrowed brow and temples to make it. It's like almost deathly looking. I'm getting a baby beauty blender with the lighter cream. And then the side of that other beauty blender that we had the foundation on to blend it out even has some redness here. We're getting places. I know it looks like junk now, but hopefully it'll look the best later. All right, to do my lips, I'm gonna take a more saturated pink mixed with the pink I used on my cheeks to do his lip line or his lip color. And we want it like an apricot, not so much pink because we don't want it to look like he's wearing lipstick. And now I'm just gonna get some cool tone mixed with a little bit of warm contour for the nose to set. Ooh, that cream is, I need to powder my face. That cream is picking up too much. Ooh, that's a lot. What is going on, cat? And I also need some contour here. Now it's time to get my favorite cool tone creams for contours. These multitasking creams from Poise Cosmetics are amazing. I love doing this for brows, for facial hair, stuff like that. So let's start with the brows first. My favorite brush for brows is a Scraftobian 4th inch angled brow brush. Not brow brush, but this angled paintbrush. And I like these poise creams because they're not too creamy. They're a little bit more waxy, so you could do really well done brow hairs. And they come in all colors that you can mix to look super like cool tone or whatever you would like. I'm trying to get it as precise as I can to make myself look like someone that isn't me anymore. All right, we're getting places. I feel like they definitely, I could see where they filled in his brows for the show. And I know these things. I'm bringing in, as you can see, my brow hair is more closer together. Cause you know, I pluck mine to not do this. And I'm painting them back on as a man whose name is Billy. To make those lips die down a little, you could put some foundation over it. Just trying to perfect these brows. Benefit brows there to watch out. Billy's here to slay all you guys. It's gonna win. <laughs> I wanna know who did the makeup on Stranger Things because Will's mom, Winona Ryder, her makeup sometimes looked so harsh. But maybe it's cause it was that time it's supposed to look, I don't know. Maybe I'm being too picky. Giving myself thicker bottom lashes. Cause boys always have beautiful lashes, most of them. This is called a drop shadow that you do on actors. Just so the camera doesn't make it look like they're wearing mascara, but gives some attention to their eyes. All right, now for the fun part. So I'm gonna take a black stipple sponge. These are like everywhere this time of year, Halloween season in Halloween stores. You just wanna dip it lightly and you can only press once. If you do multiple passes with this in the same spot, it will look too muddy and messy. You just want it to look like stipple, stubble. Stipple on some stubble. And I have like a mole here, so I have to be careful that it doesn't gather too much there. But I like my mole. 
Literally, Buddy and my boyfriend told me if I ever get rid of the, my mole, they'll be so sad and they never want me to get rid of it. Now that we have enough of that, I'm gonna go back in to do the little hairs. I'm just using the pointer part of this to do the little tiny hairs. This might take a while. And you can even go back in with this on that top mustache part lip. Starting to look cute. <laughs> He's honestly one of my favorite characters, not only because he's good looking, but he's so complicated. I think that's what attracts girls to some guys, unfortunately. Not always good for us. Wow, I need some contour underneath my chin, like, real bad. I can see my double chin peeping through. <laughs> we don't want that. Billy doesn't have any double chin. I'm gonna deep set my eyelids here. Cause I've got one eye bigger than the other, so I'm trying to make him look even. Am I getting places? <laughs> I just keep staring at myself. He has a dent in his forehead here, I hate to say it. And doing shadows around these brows are gonna make this look bigger and more stuck out. I need some mascara. So today we're gonna use, to get those Billy gorgeous big blue eyes from Stranger Things, we're gonna use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It's better than the Too Faced one in my opinion, and it's cheaper. And we're just not gonna curl our lashes because they're already gorgeously made. I think I've got straight lashes, but I'm not gonna curl them. Just run that through because I don't want it to look like there's foundation on my lashes. Stuff like that bugs me. I don't know why, I'm just too picky. Well, let's powder our face first. So our stubble ain't going nowhere. So I got this here mullet off of Amazon and we're just gonna be an all American. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I probably could have my new hair probably looks as just like him. No, my new hair is like way too girly still. This one's more. He's like got a part here that goes up and he's got like pieces that are coming down like Yes. What's your hair routine, sir? Wow, I look like <laughs> I go mud in, hunting. I keep staring at myself in the viewfinder. Okay, let's do some like orange with some lightning, purple, black, you know, those colors. So I'm gonna get some orange aqua paint first. Let me move my mullet. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that. And we're gonna do some orange and red up here. It's almost gonna look like a sunburn real quick. And then we're gonna get some red. I'm gonna get a brush with the orange to blend all that together. And then we're gonna get some purple and blue at the bottom part. It's kind of like a sunset. Definitely want those Stranger Thing 80s vibe colors with the alien. And then getting the blue to go up into the purple. All right, now we gotta let this dry. I'll get some black cream paint with the brush to stipple on the alien really get that effect of this huge thing taking over. You really want to look like, it looks almost like a tornado, a little mini tornadoes as the arms. So you want to do like patty motions to give it like a swirling effect. And we're just going to make these arms like these. Yes, they're getting places. He has like this body thing mass over here that goes up here and there's more arms even more imagine you being will and seeing this in your nightmares nope spiders would be a thing of the past because i'm afraid of those but this would be a new thing that would scare me all right just dragging these ends out to look like they're about to suck someone's life now i'm getting some of the sparkly brightest orange shadow i could find to do the highlights so i'm using this color pop palette in the color tangerine dreams to do the highlights around these on the bottom part where because the light's coming from here so i'm gonna do a lot of light here this is like our light source and there's a little bit here, here, all over here. And I'm going to tap some sparkle right around here. Now, getting some white aqua paint to start doing even more like fiery highlight. That's what it reminds me of. And to do, we're gonna blend that with our finger because we're also gonna do electricity, lightning. I need a thinner brush. Lightning. All right, we need some matte black eyeshadow. ASAP. Get in my Peach Queen palette because it's my favorite matte black eyeshadow ever to darken in some of the alien body. I'm just using multiple orange shadows from that ColourPop palette to really make things vibrant and stand out. It almost looks like it's on fire. And I think we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me turning into Billy from Stranger Things. Again, he's one of my favorite characters. Not just because he's good looking, but he's so interesting. I would have loved to see the twist where it was like one of the good guys. One of the boyfriend's turns. But now it was Billy. I guess because he could lure you in with his handsomeness. 
and then in your life. I hope I'm not spoiling too much of Stranger Things for you. It's a great show, you should watch it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below on what other videos you would love to see in the future. Subscribe for more videos like this. I do two videos a week every Monday and Friday. We do effects videos and we need to get back into some beauty after all these Halloween things. Luke's. And now it's time to take this off. I didn't do the veins and stuff like um, I did with Stranger Things last time earlier that I did veins. So I don't want to like do the veins. That would have been cool. But I did the veins on Robin in that video. You should check it out. Also, if you need really cool contact lenses, my favorite contact lens company, one of them is PinkyParadise.com. That's where I got these blue ones. So that'll be listed down below along with everything I use in this video down in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I honestly appreciate it. I feel so weird getting rid of all this body paint right after doing it, but it's gotta go. I can't walk around with just aliens on my chest, unfortunately. I'm gonna take a shower. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm so excited. Love you all creators. Bye.